The end of the Western Roman Empire marked one of the most important periods in human history. Many peoples of distinct cultures, who had previously lived as part of the empire, began to occupy lands previously owned by Rome. This spawned a large-scale wave of migrations across the European continent, reaching as far as distant lands in Africa and Central Asia. The historical period became known as the Barbarian Invasions. It turned out that many tribes that the Romans considered uncivilized, such as the Franks, Alans, Huns, Magyars, and Bulgarians, established settlements within the territory of the decaying Roman Empire, forming some of the first post-Roman kingdoms. Among the most important tribes of this migratory period were the Goths, Visigoths, and Ostrogoths, Germanic peoples who had enormous influence on the early medieval European period. The first written documents mentioning the Goths date back to the 1st century AD. Some mentioned that this people had migrated from Scandinavia to the ancient region of Germania and territories near the Black Sea. Another theory suggests that the Goths originated in eastern Pomerania, Poland, and, at some point, they moved to lands further south. The Roman historian Tacitus, who first encountered the Goths in Germany, described them as a cohesive race composed of Germanic peoples, native to their land, and fierce fighters. After taking up land in the steppes of the ancient region of Scythia, the Goths quickly adopted several nomadic customs from the Sarmatians. They excelled in the art of horsemanship, archery, and falconry but preferred to create permanent settlements rather than migrate from one region to another and became excellent farmers and sailors. According to ancient sources, the gods were always described as tall, athletic people with light hair and light eyes and a serious, haughty demeanor. In general, the gods spoke a German dialect known as the Gothic language. They had different customs that gave rise to the Gothic culture, characterized by the making of beautiful jewelry paintings, and ceramics, in a style greatly influenced by Greek and Roman craftsmen. Despite the suggestive name, Gothic architecture, so present in castles, churches, and ancient cathedrals in the Middle Ages, had little direct influence from the Goths. However, Gothic Christianity, whose main doctrine was Arianism, clearly influenced the religious beliefs of medieval Europe. Some documents mention that, as early as 240 AD, the Goths were often conscripted into the Roman army to fight in Roman-Persian conflicts, in particular, the Battle of Messici in 244. As time went on, the Goths became numerous and began to wage war against other peoples, such as Sarmatians, Gepids, and Burgundians, while also attacking and sacking many Roman cities. In the last decades of the 3rd century, many people fled to the Dacia region of the Roman Empire, probably driven out by the Goths. To contain the Goth invasions, the Roman Emperor, Constantine I, helped the Sarmatians settle on the northern banks of the Danube River to fend off attacks from the Goths, reinforcing the Roman frontier. Between 335 and 336, Constantine carried out military campaigns on the Danube, defeating many Gothic tribes. Contemporary Roman sources refer to the Goths not so much as humans, but as dangerous plagues. After driving the Romans from much of the European continent, the Goths ruled a large swath of territory, from present-day Germany to the Danube and Don rivers in Eastern Europe, plus the Black Sea in the south and the Baltic Sea in the north. However, the mighty Goths had enemies to match them, such as the fearsome Huns. Around the year 375, the Huns invaded the territory of the Goths. Although they bravely resisted, the Goths were pushed into lands still under Roman rule. Trying to find refuge, some Gothic tribes fled to the Eastern Roman Empire, where they received help from Emperor Flavius Julius Valens in 376. But, because of the Goths' history of violence and looting, the Romans decided to take cruel revenge, imposing high taxes and shameful living conditions on the refugees. Soon after, they began to starve, and some had to sell their children to Roman slave traders in exchange for dog meat as food. Enraged by these living conditions, the leader of the Gothic refugees, Fritigern, sparked a full-scale rebellion in Thrace, where not only Gothic refugees and slaves, but also disgruntled Roman workers and peasants joined in. The subsequent conflict became known as the Gothic War, and lasted several years. The conflict peaked at the Battle of Adrianople in 378, where the gods defeated the Romans and Emperor Flavius Julius Valens was killed. 
After the Battle of Adrianople, the Goths and the Romans were trading partners for the next decade. After that, the Goths split into two main branches, the Visigoths, a name that literally means Western Goths, and the Ostrogoths, the Eastern Goths. The division occurred because of political differences and noble lineages between the tribes. The Visigoths agreed to sign alliances with Rome, living within Western Roman territory, while the Ostrogoths were subjects of the Huns and lived in the occupied lands of the Eastern Roman Empire. Around 395, the first king of the Visigoths emerged, Alaric I, a promising Gothic warrior who had served in the Roman army under Emperor Theodosius I. Alaric was one of the few survivors of the terrible Battle of Frigidus, where he fought in the service of Emperor Theodosius. 10,000 Goths and members of other barbarian tribes died in that clash. This episode, coupled with the disregard the Romans showed for Goth warriors fallen in battle, enraged Alaric against Rome. Alaric invaded Italy in 402 and 407, leading raids and pillaging Roman cities. But he was twice defeated in battle and was forced to retreat. Finally, in 410, Alaric commanded a successful siege against Rome, which was overrun and plundered. Although the riches of the city were looted, the civilians of Rome were treated humanely and only a few buildings were burned. Alaric also freed tens of thousands of Gothic slaves and incorporated them into his army. With the defeat of the main European rivals for power, Alaric and the Visigoths established a kingdom in the region of Gaul, present-day France. At first, it was a peripheral nation of the Roman Empire, before they expanded their territory to include areas known as Spain and Portugal on the Iberian Peninsula, forming the Visigothic Kingdom that lasted until 711, when it was conquered by North African Moorish invaders from the Umayyad Caliphate. While the Visigoths gathered under the leadership of Alaric I, the Ostrogoths strengthened in the Balkan region under Theodoric the Great, ruler of the Ostrogothic Kingdom and patrician of the Eastern Roman Empire. As a child, Theodoric was taken hostage to Constantinople, where he lived out his formative years and received an Eastern Roman education. Providing services to Emperor Flavius Zeno, Theodoric carried out military campaigns against the Sarmatians and competed to increase his influence among his fellow Goths in the Balkans. Emperor Zeno gave him the position of commander of the Eastern Roman forces, and in 484, he was appointed consul. But Theodoric disliked the Romans and lived in constant hostility against the emperor. To make the Ostrogoths independent, Theodoric invaded and conquered all of Italy, killing with his own hands King Odoacer of the Visigoths. Beginning in 511, Theodoric united and ruled the Visigoth and Ostrogothic kingdoms, forming an empire that lasted until his death in 526. Although Theodoric used only the title king, some scholars describe him as a Western Roman emperor, referred to by the title Augustus by some of his contemporary subjects. As the new ruler of Italy, Theodoric maintained Roman legal administration and scholarly culture, promoting a major program of public buildings in Italy. Shortly after Theodoric's death, the Eastern Roman Empire regained many of its lost territories, driving hordes of Ostrogoths out of Italy. After Ostrogoth king Teia's last resistance at the Battle of Mons Lactaris in 553, Ostrogothic resistance ended. The remaining Goths in Italy were assimilated by the Lombards, another Germanic tribe that invaded Italy and founded the Kingdom of the Lombards in 567. Although the Goths are traditionally blamed for the destruction of the Roman Empire civilization, which plunged Western culture into a dark age, the Goths helped preserve many of the Roman cities and customs. Their armies and warriors were crucial in the fight against the invading Huns, who ravaged everything in their path. Although little remembered today, the Goths were important players in Western Roman history.